Hey, no leftovers here in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen, especially since we have executive master chef of City Dock Restaurant, Robert Slizzy here. We're making shrimp scampi. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. What we're doing today, I'll go over the ingredients for you. Of course, okay. the fresh garlic, the fresh parsley, the olive oil, the Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper always to taste, lemons, mm. Parmesan cheese, and we use the 1620 shrimp. It's a large shrimp, and it holds Huge. when you cook it. I also have the water boiling. What I'd like to do with the shrimp is I shock it just for a minute to make a nice pink okay. color to it. So you're not I cooking it all the way through? Well, I are? do, but then it goes into the saute pan, okay. and I finish it that way. And okay. it just brightens it up. It makes it look alive. Also to the right, we have the garlic bread ready, the right. pasta ready. So we're going to put it all together uh, in the next segment, and then it's going to... What a meal, I'm telling you, what a meal. I've got to tell you, you haven't cooked anything yet. It smells <laughs> phenomenal. You had a trick to show us, though, yeah, with, with the shrimp. With the shrimp, and most, I'm not saying all the restaurants, but most restaurants will get your shrimp, and they'll get the tail, and they'll pull it off. Uh, a lot of people don't like to have the tail yeah. as they're eating. They just want to eat it with a fork mm -hmm. and consume it. Mm -hmm. What we do at City Dock is what we do. We do that. You can see the difference of how much meat you're losing by knowing how to peel the tail. And yeah, so I mean, so what was the difference there? I mean, it was like a good, like, half inch at least yeah, of you can see more the, shrimp. You can see the, the difference in the shrimp right, right. there. The whole okay. tail is right there, and that's another mouthful. Yeah. You know, so it, you're paying for it. You might as well get it. Just the secret is, is that you hear the crack when I do it, mm -hmm. and then you take the time to peel it. Just take a few minutes, peel it back. I'll be a little bit more careful. You have to be. a little bit of extra time, right? <laughs> well, you got plenty of time here. Yeah. And there it is, all peeled and ready to go. Okay. And you can see how it looks. It's got the tail on them, yeah. and they hold together. And mm -hmm. it, it's a nice presentation. It just looks nice, and we try to make everything nice we can. At the City Dock, Thanksgiving is coming, so please keep us in mind for Thanksgiving yeah. dinner. We have our buffet. I wasn't thinking about Thanksgiving, but you're right. It's you have to plan ahead. The corner. And then, of course, every Wednesday we have a wine tasting at the, at the hotel. You come in. We have hors d'oeuvres, you know, a sampling there. You can taste the wines that we're featuring from the uh, Williamsburg Winery. I mean, it's, it's a real, real nice thing. We're using today... A nice Riesling in here, okay. and as Josh always said, when you cook something good, always have good putting in with wine. Right. Top everything off. Don't use something that you're not going to enjoy you're not gonna later, drink. right? Yeah. Because you're going to use just a little bit of that sure. in the meal. Perhaps you can use this to pair it. Yeah, I mean, I always meal. cook with wine, and sometimes I'll I'll put it in the pan, but the rest of the time we just consume it in the other <laughs> way. <laughs> so you know, we just do that. Uh, when I retired from the military mm -hmm. in '95, my grandfather in Italy. Here she comes. Look, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Knows that I love camouflage uniforms. Right. So right. Italy has the best camouflage uniforms for their military. Okay. So he sent me a shirt. And I retired in 95. And okay. I put it in the closet. And it's been 10 years and I still can't find it. <laughs> still it's can't. a good outfit, isn't it's it? a good outfit. <laughs> still can't find it. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> it's going to be good here in a few minutes. We'll put all it. this together, and you're going to really be impressed. You also have some garlic bread. I know you Gar want to kind of discuss how you put that together before yeah. you put it in the oven. Are you putting now, it in the way? Oven, like? Yes, the way that we made the garlic bread before, we put the parmet, we put the provolone cheese in it, and we sliced it and baked it. This mm -hmm. is different. Originally, when we made the garlic bread, we make our own butter and we put it on and we bake it in the oven. We were watching the guest take it and dunk it in the sauce that we make with the shrimp scampi. So now we serve it with the garlic bread in the bowl, okay. and it's really it's really great. You're and trying to help all the folks who come to the uh, restaurant. Yes, uh, we do that, and plus Jenny Craig calls me and asks me to send her customers and stuff. And if you're asking why there's so much butter here, I promised Paula Dean I'd cook with a lot of butter because that's what she wants. I know. She is your biggest fan, I <laughs> she imagine, is. She next is. to the rest of us. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, we're going to actually start cooking in the next segment. we got a lot to put together, so... We're going to do some more prep work here. In yes. the meantime, send it back over to the couch where Jeremy has <laughs> sat down. Right. Yeah. We're in the kitchen with Executive Master Chef of City Dock Restaurant, Robert Saliza. We're making shrimp scampi. And you've already done a little bit. And you said all you did mm -hmm. was put this in this is boiling water? Boiling water. Just to shock it to open up the shrimp and give it a nice color. Okay. So what, and a couple minutes? Just about maybe 30 seconds. It'll turn pink. And that's okay. what you want. As I said before, you know, when you have something hot, the pores open up. And that's when all your flavor will go in. What I've got started here is the garlic and butter. And you can go ahead and add the shrimp. All right. And it's boiling up a little bit. How, uh -huh. high, how high is your heat there? Well, medium. What I'm going to go ahead now is put in the fresh parsley, mm. the lemon. This is such a wonderfully simple dish. Simple. Take it mm. off the stove when you add the wine. You don't need a heck of a lot. Okay. And you're but using that to deglaze and kind of get the flavor. Deglaze, yeah, get the flavor. And you're going to burn off the wine and get the flavors of the wine in there. All the alcohol is going to burn off. Wonderful. 
called salt and pepper. Salt and pepper went in. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the Parmesan cheese in. Everything has to have Parmesan cheese. <laughs> That's just part of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, she, she didn't hear me over there. She was, you know, we were talking about f wasting food, and of course Thanksgiving's coming up, and right. you're saying we got this turkey, now what are we going to do tomorrow? Be creative. Be creative. Turkey pot pie, turkey burgers. You can do a turkey casserole. There's so many things that you can do. You don't have to have the same meal the next day. Right. Be creative with what you have. Instead of having ham and eggs in the morning, have turkey and eggs. Right. So many things that you can do. Put that. You can make 10 meals out of one item. I think you're right. I think part of it is knowing what to do with these items sure. before they go bad. Absolutely. But, um, but leftovers right. are the best things in the world. I mean, Crazy. leftovers are. I'll go ahead and add the stock now. Okay. Oh, what is that? That's a seafood stock with a little bit of chicken base in it, just okay. together to make it that flavor. And how do you make that? That's something that you boil down, and you did it earlier. Boil down with all the, all the ingredients that we have of all the bones and everything else at the restaurant we put together. What I'm doing now is I'm flouring butter, and I'm going to put that in into, wow. the, into here. Now, there is butter already in the flavor. sauce, uh -huh. but then you're flouring the bubble butter. Uh -huh. sorry. The cover. This, the, the cover. cover. Yep. Sorry. And what you do now is put a cover on it, mm -hmm. put it on low, and that butter is going to melt now, and it's going to make a roux with everything else. And then you'll have a nice... Nice gravy that you're going to dunk that garlic bread into. Garlic bread is in the oven. The pasta is going to get ready to be shocked. We're going to serve it in these bowls. Mm -hmm. And you'll see how it looks when we present it. And that's going to be one portion for one person. And don't come back a second time because they're going to love it so much. I believe that completely. Yes, they will. Now, this yeah. recipe comes from where? This has come from your yes. store of recipes? <laughs> Scores of recipes that my mother had in Italy and uh, what we all did as a family. You know, every Sunday was pasta day. You had pasta every Sunday, whether you liked it or not. And yeah. the meal was served at noon. And then if you showed up late, you showed disrespect to your mother. Oh, no, can't have that. And, of course, you either wore it or you didn't eat it because mm -hmm. that's the way my father was. Right. You know, it's just a nice little. Right. Be there on time. And that's how I learned in the military how we're so disciplined. <laughs> She's not listening to me over there. <laughs> Navy side is shutting down this morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She'll chat with you in a little bit. Okay, that's for but sure. this is how we do it. And uh, this shouldn't take too long. This should take more than three to five minutes, and it's cooked. But what I'm trying to do is get the gravy so I've lowered the temperature. All right. We'll let it thicken up. And when we come back, you'll see how it is over the pasta. And, and then we'll mix it with the pasta. We'll mix it all together. Uh -huh. Okay. We're going to do all of that in the next segment and then talk about wine pairings wine with pairings. Josh Correct. coming up in the next segment. Gary? Finishing up our shrimp scampi with executive master chef of City Dock Restaurant, Robert Saliza. And this sauce is kind of the, the main part of this dish. The main part, yeah. That's because you're going to have the flavor of it, plus you're going to dunk the garlic bread into it, and it just, it's really so you good. you need a lot of it, and it yes. needs to be good. Now, you were telling me one of the secrets is it has to be covered. It has to have a cover. So it's, it holds all the, uh, all the flavors and all the starch and everything together, and it forms a roux. As you can see what's happening right now. So it's what you did is you had the butter and, and the, the garlic together. Uh -huh. And then you put the butter with Rolled some flour, flour around it and on top. And you put it right in and just see what happens. It's coming all together right now. Now, it looks like a little bit is, is broken up a little bit, but it is uh -huh. not. And I know no. that's not. No, no. That's just what happens <laughs> as you're cooking it, see? Okay. Stir it all together and there it is. But then once you mix it with the pasta, then all is well. Yep. See, it's all there now. You had some tips for me earlier about making the pasta. Never put oil. Oil, you know. butter, nothing, because that's going to cause your sauce to, to slide right off the pasta so maybe on I've your done plate. that, but I won't do that again. <laughs> well, I heard that your sauce is on the floor a lot. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> my kids don't know any better, thank goodness. <laughs> yep. Maybe yeah. now it's a time to bring in Josh Haw, the uh, food and beverage director yes, over sure. at the uh, restaurant. And yeah. you've got some great pairings, I'm sure, for this wonderful dish. I do. I brought two wines, actually. One to uh, contrast it and one to compare with the, uh, mm. with the shrimp scampi. So... The first one's a Gruet. It's a uh, sparkling wine from New Mexico. Cool. I think it's probably one of the best domestically produced sparklers. I don't call it Champagne because okay. it's not from Champagne, France. So mm -hmm. uh, we go with sparkling wine. It's their Blanc de Noir. Um, and what, what Blanc de Noir means is it's, it's made from red grapes. There's three grapes typically used oh, in Champagne. Cool. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier. Uh, the second two being red grapes. And those are the two grapes that they use just for the Blanc de Noir. So, so this one will be a little bubbly. It is. It is. A, it's, it's, it's a true sparkling wine, and great acidity. It's gonna. It's gonna cut right through that sauce. So. Very nice. And what's this one? And this. This more compares with the shrimp scampi. It's. It's a full-bodied Chardonnay, Ferrari Corano, um, from Sonoma, Alexander Valley, and uh, it's just full-bodied, very lush, um, fruity, and it goes very. It goes very well alongside this. This 
big uh, cream sauce that Chef made here. So I'm just watching them plate up. Like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so. good fix there. And you guys have a lot going on in the next few months over at the restaurant, right? We do. We're doing jazz nights now, too. Uh, every Friday night, oh, we brought uh, jazz back to uh, downtown Norfolk. So um, we've had Jay Sinnott and uh, Jim Newsom. And uh, Jay Sinnott's actually coming up this Friday night. So 8 to 11, join us down there. It's a good very, time. Very good. And yeah. I know you're going to also be involved in Homerama. People might wonder, well... What is the connection, but... It is, yes. Uh, Homerama is coming to Norfolk. So uh, East Beach this year, and uh, we're doing their uh, Taste of Norfolk, Homerama. Cool. Uh, so join us out there and try some of our tastes while you enjoy all the beautiful homes that they just built. So. Josh, thank you very much. Definitely different ways to check out the food here from City Dock, other than going to uh, Sheraton uh, sure. over at Waterside. So how did you plate this up? You just put it in a bowl. Put the pasta in it, and then, and then I go ahead and put the shrimp. Usually we put four to each one. And then you add the lemon, of course, for the garnish. Yeah, very, very nice. You know, one of our buzz hot topics is um, America wasting food. And, you know, I, I know you wanted to address that. What well, happens with... Well, what we do at, at the hotel is uh, we either go to the food bank or we go to the union mission. We call them up and they'll come right over and pick it up. We don't waste anything at, right. at, the, at the hotel. Right. We, as I said, become creative make different things, make the stews and make all the soups and all, but it's all part of just taking care of what you're doing and yeah. don't waste anything. I mean, we Josh makes us pour the water from the tables to the plants. We didn't even throw water out. Hey, you know, that is all right. And, you know, I can guarantee you this will not go to waste here either. No, <laughs> no worries. No wasted food today. Guys, thank you very yeah, much. Great.